Greetings, traveller of dreams. Tonight, we invite you on a voyage not through space, but through time itself. A journey to a world where magic whispers in the winds and destiny is but a thread in the tapestry of the universe. As you nestle into the warmth of your sanctuary, let the hustle of the world outside softly blur into the background. Breathe in serenity, breathe out tension, and prepare your heart and mind to wander through the corridors of time. In our tale this evening, we'll explore. Chapter 1 The Awakening of Time In a realm where the whispers of magic rustled through the leaves of ancient forests and danced upon the crests of winding rivers, there lived a young witch named Zara. Her home, nestled on the edge of the enchanted forest, was a place of wonder where the boundary between the seen and unseen, known and unknown, was as thin as a spider's silk. Zara was born under the veil of eternal night, a celestial event that bathed the land in a luminous aurora, marking her with a rare and secret gift. The villagers spoke in hushed tones of the power to bend and weave the very fabric of time, a gift that had not been seen in the realm for generations. Yet, unbeknownst to them, this power slumbered within Zara, waiting for the moment of its awakening. As the eve of her seventeenth birthday approached, the air around Zara seemed to thrum with an unseen energy. That night, as the moon hung low, casting silver shadows through her window, Zara felt a pull, a calling from the depths of the forest that bordered her home. She rose drawn by an inexplicable urge to venture into the heart of the ancient woods. The forest greeted her like an old friend, its trees whispering secrets in the wind, guiding her steps deeper into its embrace. There, amidst the ruins of Time's Keep, where legend told of the first Time Weavers who had learned to shape the past and future. Zara discovered her destiny. An ancient hourglass, buried beneath a veil of moss and ivy, pulsed with a soft ethereal light. As Zara's fingers brushed against its glass, a surge of power coursed through her awakening the slumbering gift within. The sands within the hourglass glowed, shifting and swirling in patterns that danced like the aurora under which she was born. In that moment, Zara heard the first whisper of the past, a gentle nudge at the edges of her mind showing her glimpses of a mistake that had darkened the fate of her village. A calamity, averted only by the sacrifice of the village's protector, could have been prevented, the whisper suggested. If only the threads of time had been woven differently, with the awakening of her gift came a determination a resolve to use her newfound power to rewrite the tapestry of the past. Zara understood the risks, the delicate balance of cause and effect that governed the flow of time. Yet, 
the chance to right a wrong, to prevent a sorrow that had lingered like a shadow over her home, ignited a flame within her. And so, under the cloak of night, with the ancient hourglass as her guide, Zara took her first leap into yesterday, her heart alight with the possibility of change. Little did she know, the fabric of time, once altered, would ripple through the ages, affecting the present in ways beyond her wildest dreams. As the first rays of dawn crept across the sky, marking the beginning of her journey, Zara stepped into the past, her eyes wide with wonder and fear. What lay ahead was unknown, a path untrodden, yet the young witch with the power to control time knew one thing for certain. Her life and the lives of those she loved would never be the same again. With Zara's first steps into the past, our tale weaves into the next chapter of her journey, where each decision carries the weight of untold consequences. Follow along as we explore the ripples that emanate from Zara's choice and the lessons learned in the delicate dance of destiny and free will. The heart of the enchanted forest where shadows whispered and light danced, held secrets of old, mysteries that beckoned the brave and the bold. It was here, in the ruins of Time's Keep, that Zara found herself standing, her breath a mist in the chill air, her eyes alight with the fire of discovery. The hourglass, ancient and enigmatic, seemed to pulse with an inner life, its sands more radiant than the stars under which it was unearthed. As Zara held it, the air around her shimmered, whispers of the past and echoes of the future mingling in a melody only she could hear. The hourglass was not merely an artifact. It was a key, a gateway through which the fabric of time could be unraveled and rewoven. Legends had spoken of the time weavers, those rare souls who could navigate the streams of past and future. But Zara had always believed them to be just that, legends. Yet here in her hands lay the proof of their existence and more astonishingly, the realization that she was one of them. The first use of the hourglass was almost accidental, a result of Zara's roar, untrained power reacting to the ancient magic within the artifact. Time bent around her, reality blurring as the past opened its arms to her. Scenes from days long gone played before her eyes, moments of joy and sorrow, triumph and despair, all woven into the tapestry of her village's history. Among these visions, one moment stood out a day shrouded in darkness, when a great calamity had struck, a fierce tempest unleashed by a vengeful sorcerer had threatened to obliterate everything in its path. The village's protector, a guardian of immense power and wisdom, had sacrificed herself to quell the storm her essence merging with the land to form a barrier that protected the village for generations to come. 
This was the mistake Zara sought to correct. If she could intervene, if she could find a way to defeat the sorcerer without the guardian's sacrifice, perhaps the shadow that had fallen over her village could be lifted. The decision to step into the past, to attempt to alter this pivotal moment, weighed heavily on Zara's heart. She knew the laws of time were not to be trifled with lightly. For every action, there was a reaction, a ripple that could alter the course of events in ways she could not predict. But the chance to save the Guardian, to preserve the light of her wisdom for the village, was a call too strong to resist. With the ancient hourglass as her guide, Zara took a deep breath, her resolve stealing within her. The sands began to swirl faster and faster, a whirlwind of light and shadow. And then, with a sudden leap of the heart, Zara stepped through the veil of time, her spirit soaring as the past opened up before her. The world she entered was familiar yet strange, a reflection of her own with subtle differences that spoke of untold stories. The air hummed with the tension of the upcoming storm, the villagers unaware of the fate that loomed over them. Zara's arrival, a stranger in her own land, marked the beginning of her quest to change the course of history. But as she would soon learn, the past is a delicate fabric, interwoven with the threads of countless lives. To pull at one thread in hopes of mending a tear might unravel the whole, changing the present in ways unforeseeable. And so, with the ancient hourglass in hand and the weight of her village's future on her shoulders, Zara set forth to find the sorcerer unaware of the ripples her actions would create. In the muted light of dawn, as the village lay still, shrouded in the silence of impending fate, Zara moved like a shadow among the echoes of yesterday. The hourglass, now bound to her very essence, pulsed softly a constant companion in her quest to alter the course of history. The whispers of the past were clearer here, voices and visions intertwining to form a tapestry of memories. Zara listened, her heart open to the lessons of time, seeking the moment when the dark sorcerer would reveal himself bringing with him the tempest that threatened to consume all. As she ventured deeper into the past, Zara learned to see through the veil of time, to understand the delicate balance of cause and effect. Each step taken was a note in the symphony of history. Each decision a stroke on the canvas of fate. The whisper of the past spoke of the Guardian, a figure of light and strength, whose sacrifice had sealed the sorcerer's doom and safeguarded the village. The Guardian's presence was a balm to Zara's soul a beacon guiding her through the mists of time. In the Guardian, Zara saw the embodiment of courage and selflessness, qualities that resonated within her own heart. 
the realization dawned upon her that to save the guardian, to prevent her sacrifice, was to preserve a source of wisdom and light for her people. With the hourglass as her guide, Zara sought the sorcerer, her resolve hardened by the knowledge of what was at stake. The land itself seemed to sense the battle that loomed, the air charged with the tension that whispered of storms and sorcery. The sorcerer, cloaked in darkness, was a figure of terror, his power drawn from the shadows that danced at his command. Zara, armed with the ancient magic of the Time Weavers, confronted him, her spirit aflame with the desire to protect, to change the fate that had been written in the stars. Their clash was a tempest of light and shadow, a dance of power that echoed through the fabric of time. Zara, with the ancient hourglass channeling the energies of past and future, wove a tapestry of resistance against the sorcerer's onslaught. The battle raged, a testament to the will of a young witch who dared to challenge the currents of time. In the end, it was the whisper of the past, the lessons learned from the guardian's sacrifice that guided Zara's hand. With a final surge of power, she turned the sorcerer's darkness against him, sealing his fate and averting the storm that would have been his legacy. The village awakened to a dawn untouched by sorrow, the shadow of the tempest erased from its destiny. Yet, as Zara soon discovered, the fabric of time was not so easily mended. Her return to the present was met with changes subtle yet profound, ripples that had spread from the stone she had cast into the river of time. The guardian lived, her wisdom a guiding light for the village, but other threads in the tapestry had shifted, altering relationships, histories and even landscapes in ways Zara had not foreseen. The weight of her actions, the consequences of her journey through time, began to dawn upon her as she faced the reality of a present reshaped by her own hand. Zara's return to the present, her heart buoyed by the success of her quest, was tinged with a trepidation she could not shake. The village, bathed in the gentle light of dawn, seemed at once familiar and alien, a tapestry whose threads had been subtly reworked in her absence. As she walked the paths once trodden in her childhood, Zara noticed the changes wrought by her journey through time. The Guardian, once a memory enshrined in legend, now walked among them, her presence a beacon of wisdom and strength. Yet this miracle, this alteration of fate, carried with it the weight of unseen consequences. The village, though spared the devastation of the tempest, bore the marks of other smaller storms, shifts in the fabric of its history that had altered the course of lives and relationships. Friends whom Zara had known since childhood looked upon her with eyes clouded by unfamiliarity their shared memories no longer aligning with the reality she had woven. The landscape itself had shifted, 
the forest's edge creeping closer, encroaching upon the fields, as if reclaiming a debt owed by time. The air held whispers of stories untold, paths untraveled, a reminder of the cost of meddling with the threads of fate. Zara's heart, once alight with the thrill of her power, now felt the burden of her choices. The joy of the Guardian's salvation was tempered by the realization that the tapestry of time was a complex weave of countless threads, each alteration affecting the whole in ways impossible to predict. The villagers, sensing the change but not its source, looked to Zara with a mixture of awe and suspicion. Rumours began to weave around her, tales of a young witch who had stepped beyond the bounds of time, who had wielded powers not seen since the days of the ancient time weavers. Zara sought solace in the Guardian, whose wisdom seemed the only constant in a world that had shifted beneath her feet. The Guardian, perceiving the turmoil within her, offered counsel and comfort, speaking of the responsibility that came with power, the need for balance and foresight. The fabric of time is delicate, my child, the Guardian said, her voice a balm to Zara's troubled spirit. Each thread you touch, each stitch you alter affects the whole. The future is a river, constantly in motion, and to divert its course is to change the landscape through which it flows. Zara listened, her heart heavy with the weight of her actions, the ripple of consequences the realization that her attempt to mend the past had reshaped the present was a lesson learned in the harshest of ways. The balance of time, once taken for granted, now seemed a precious thing, a gift that demanded respect and understanding. As she stood at the threshold of her home, the hourglass in her hand no longer a mere artifact, but a symbol of her journey, Zara made a vow. She would seek to understand the true nature of her gift, to wield it with wisdom and care, mindful of the delicate balance of time. For now, she was a weaver of fate, a guardian of the future, tasked with the responsibility of guiding the river of time with a gentle hand. And though the path ahead was uncertain, Zara stepped forward, her spirit strengthened by the lessons of the past, ready to face the challenges of tomorrow. In the days that followed, Zara walked the fine line between the world she knew and the one she had altered, her eyes open to the nuances of change that had rippled through her home. The village, alive with the hum of daily life, held reflections of both the familiar and the unfamiliar, a mosaic of what was and what had come to be. The Guardian, once a figure of myth, now lived among them, her presence a constant reminder of Zara's journey through time. Her wisdom, drawn from the well of centuries, guided the villagers through seasons and storms, her power a shield against the shadows that lingered at the edge of the forest. Yet, for all the wonder her survival inspired, 
there was an undercurrent of unease. A sense that the fabric of their community had been stretched too thin. Relationships that had been the cornerstone of village life were frayed. The threads of connection woven into new patterns that left some feeling lost, adrift in a sea of change. Zara felt the weight of these transformations, the burden of knowing that her actions, however well-intentioned, had altered the course of lives. The hourglass, now a silent witness to her journey, seemed to pulse with a somber light, a reminder of the delicate balance of time. The land itself bore the marks of her intervention. Fields that had once been barren now flourished, while streams that had meandered through the village had shifted their course, carving new paths through the earth. The forest, its edges creeping ever closer, whispered of old magics awakened of boundaries blurred between the now and the once was. Amidst this tapestry of change, Zara sought to mend the threads she had unraveled, to restore the harmony that had been lost. She turned to the Guardian, her mentor in the ways of time, seeking guidance on how to heal the rifts her actions had created. To weave time is to dance with fate, the Guardian told her, her eyes reflecting the depth of her understanding. Each step, each turn, influences the pattern of the dance. But remember, my child, that the dance is never truly solo. It is a tapestry woven by many hands, each contributing to the whole. Armed with this wisdom, Zara set out to weave a new dance, one that embraced the changes she had wrought while honoring the rhythms of the past. She reached out to those who felt lost their stories untold, their voices unheard in the new narrative of the village. Through her efforts, a new understanding began to emerge, a recognition of the strength found in diversity, in the blending of old and new. Zara's journey through time, once a source of division, became a catalyst for unity, for a deeper appreciation of the threads that bound them together. The hourglass, its sands now still, stood as a testament to the journey undertaken, to the lessons learned in the shadows of what might have been. Zara, once a seeker of change, had become a guardian of balance, her gift of time a tool, not for alteration, but for understanding. As the seasons turned, the village found a new rhythm, a harmony enriched by the complexity of its woven threads. Zara, her heart lighter, walked among her people, not as a weaver of fate, but as a keeper of time, her eyes open to the beauty of the present, the richness of the moment unfolding. And so, the tale of the young witch who could control time reached its conclusion, not with a rending of the fabric of existence, but with the gentle mending of a tapestry cherished and renewed. For in the end, it was not the power to change time that defined her journey, but the wisdom to embrace it, to understand that the true magic 
lay in the balance of moments, each precious, each a gift to be honoured and preserved. With the completion of chapter one, Zara's initial journey through the realms of time sets the stage for deeper explorations of choice and consequence, of the echoes that resonate through the chambers of the past and the future. Join us as the story unfolds, revealing the intricate dance of destiny and the enduring light of wisdom. Chapter 2 The Echoes of Choices In the wake of changes wrought by Zara's dance with time, the fabric of her world seemed to fray at the edges, each thread of consequence a testament to her journey. The village, now a blend of the old and the new, thrived under the guidance of the Guardian, yet whispers of unrest stirred among the shadows, murmurs of a tapestry coming undone. Driven by a quest for understanding and a desire to heal the rifts her actions had created, Zara sought counsel from the elders of time beings whose existence was woven into the very essence of the universe. These ancient guardians, residing in the space between seconds, in the pause between breaths, were keepers of the universe's oldest secrets, their wisdom boundless as the stars. Their realm was a place beyond the confines of physical reality, where the river of time flowed not in a straight line, but in endless loops and whirls, a tapestry of infinite complexity. Zara, guided by the hourglass, her steps sure and her heart open, crossed the threshold into their domain the air around her shimmering with the magic of their presence. The elders of time, their forms ever shifting, like the sands of her hourglass, greeted Zara not with words, but with visions, a cascade of images that revealed the nature of time itself. They showed her the beauty of its weave, the interconnectedness of moments, each action, each choice, a thread that contributed to the whole. But with this beauty came a warning, a lesson in the delicate balance that governed the flow of time. They revealed to Zara the dangers of interference, the ripples that spread far and wide from the smallest of changes, altering the course of destinies in ways beyond comprehension. The tapestry of time is a work of art crafted over eons, one elder spoke, their voice a whisper on the wind. To pull at a thread in hopes of changing the pattern can unravel the weave, leading to chaos and destruction. Zara listened, her heart heavy with the realization of the burden she carried. The elder's warning was clear. While her intentions had been pure, the potential for unforeseen consequences was great. The fabric of time, once altered, could not simply be stitched back together without leaving scars, marks of the choices made and the paths taken. With the wisdom born of their ancient gaze, the elders offered Zara guidance a way to navigate the complexities of her gift. The key 
they said, lies not in changing what has been, but in understanding the flow of time, in recognizing the interconnectedness of all things. As the visions faded, and Zara found herself once again on the threshold of her own reality, the words of the elders echoed in her mind. The tapestry of time, with its intricate weave of cause and effect, was not to be tampered with lightly. Her journey forward must be one of balance, of careful consideration and respect for the natural order of things. Armed with the Elder's wisdom, Sara stepped back into her world her resolve strengthened. She understood now that her power was not just a tool for change, but a gift of insight, a means to see the connections that bound the fabric of the universe together. As she walked the paths of her village, the hourglass in her hand no longer a symbol of her ability to alter time, but a reminder of her responsibility to preserve it, Zara knew that the journey ahead would be fraught with challenges. Yet, with the guidance of the elders and the wisdom of the guardian, she was ready to face whatever the future held to weave her story into the tapestry of time without unraveling the delicate balance that sustained it. In the days following her audience with the elders of time, Zara walked the lanes of her village, her gaze lingering on the faces of those she passed. The warmth that once greeted her seemed dimmed as if shadows had crept into the spaces between them, turning friends into strangers, their smiles strained, their conversations peppered with hesitations. The landscape too bore the marks of her tampering with time. Fields that once flourished lay fallow, their bounty diminished while streams that had sung through the village with merry gurgles now whispered secrets in hushed tones. Their courses altered, meandering through the land like lost children. These changes, subtle yet profound, were constant reminders of the weight of her choices each shift in the tapestry a thread pulled by her hand. Doubt, like a creeping vine, wound its way around Zara's heart, its thorns pricking at her confidence, sowing seeds of regret. At night, the village lay under a blanket of silence, the stars above distant and cold, their light flickering like the flame of hope in Zara's chest. She wandered the paths she had known since childhood, paths that now seemed to lead nowhere, the familiar made strange by the echoes of her actions. In the solitude of these nocturnal journeys, Zara grappled with the consequences of her desire to mend the past the harmony of the village. Once a melody that had lifted the spirits of all who dwelled within, now played in a minor key, its notes discordant, its rhythm fractured. The guardian, sensing the turmoil within Zara, offered solace and guidance. The path of a time weaver is fraught with challenges, she said, her voice a beacon in the darkness that surrounded Zara's soul. 
Each choice we make, each thread we pull, carries with it the potential for both creation and destruction. Doubt is the companion of all who wield power, a reminder of our humanity. Zara listened, the Guardian's words a salve to her troubled spirit. Yet, even as she sought comfort in their wisdom, the shadows of doubt lingered, a constant whisper that questioned her every decision, her every step forward. The unraveling of the village's harmony, the transformation of the landscape, the distance that now lay between her and those she loved. These were the ripples of her journey through time, the echoes of her choices resounding through the fabric of her world. In her heart, Zara knew that to move forward, to find a way to restore what had been lost, she must first confront the doubt that clouded her vision. She must look within, to the core of her being, and find the strength to weave anew, not just the tapestry of time, but the bonds that united her with her people. With the dawn of a new day, Zara stood at the edge of the village, the hourglass in her hand catching the first light of the sun. Its sands, ever shifting, seemed to whisper of possibilities, of paths yet to be trodden, of futures yet to be written. Determined to face the shadows of doubt, to mend the rifts that her actions had caused, Zara made a vow. She would not let the weight of her choices crush her. Instead, she would lift them as a banner, a testament to her resolve to heal, to rebuild, to restore the harmony that had once been the heartbeat of her village. And so, with the light of dawn as her guide, Zara stepped forward, the shadows of doubt retreating before the strength of her will, her journey through the echoes of choices only just beginning. On the eve of the red moon, a celestial marvel that graced the sky, but once in a generation, Zara stood alone, her gaze lifted to the heavens. The moon, a crimson orb suspended in the velvet night, bathed the world in a surreal glow, casting long shadows and painting the landscape in hues of blood and fire. Legend spoke of the red moon as a harbinger of change, a time when the veil between worlds grew thin and the forces of magic swelled to their peak. It was under this auspicious light that Zara, heart heavy with the burden of her past choices, discovered a new path forward, a means to mend the fractures in the fabric of her world without recourse to the hourglass. Whispers on the wind, voices from beyond the veil, spoke to her of an ancient ritual, a rite of balance and renewal that could heal the wounds inflicted upon the tapestry of time. But this knowledge came with a warning, a cost that must be paid a sacrifice demanded by the very forces she sought to appease. The path was fraught with uncertainty, the ritual a gamble with fate itself. For what Zara sought was nothing less than the restoration of harmony, 
the rebalancing of the scales that her actions had tipped. And yet, as the red moon watched, silent and inscrutable, she knew that the decision to proceed lay solely in her hands. The night air charged with anticipation and the scent of impending rain seemed to pause, waiting for her choice. Zara, with the weight of her village's future on her shoulders, understood that the sacrifice demanded might be more than she was prepared to give. For the ritual required not just a relinquishing of her powers over time, but a part of her very essence, a piece of her soul that once given could never be reclaimed. Torn between the desire to heal and the fear of losing herself in the process, Zara sought the counsel of the guardian, her mentor and guide through the labyrinth of time. The choice you face is one of great consequence, the guardian said, her eyes reflecting the glow of the red moon. To offer a part of oneself is to embrace the true nature of sacrifice, to understand that some victories come at the cost of our own being. The Guardian's words, wise and solemn, echoed in Zara's heart, stirring the embers of resolve within her. She knew that to hesitate, to allow fear to dictate her course would be to fail not just herself, but all those who depended on her, those whose lives had been altered by the ripples of her choices. And so, under the watchful eye of the red moon, Zara made her decision. With a heart full of hope, and a spirit braced for the unknown, she stepped forward to embrace her destiny, to undertake the ritual that promised restoration at the price of personal loss. The air shimmered, the world holding its breath as Zara began the ancient rite, her voice a soft incantation that rose and fell with the whispers of the wind. The magic of the red moon, raw and powerful, surged through her, a tide that swept away all doubt and fear, leaving only clarity and purpose. As the ritual reached its climax, Zara felt a part of her essence slip away, a sacrifice made to the forces that governed the balance of the universe. In that moment of surrender, she understood the true nature of power, not as dominion over others, but as the courage to offer oneself for the greater good. When the dawn broke, the red moon fading into the light of a new day. Zara emerged from the ritual changed. Her powers over time diminished, but her spirit fortified by the knowledge that true healing required not just magic, but the willingness to give of oneself. The path ahead was now clear the echoes of her choices a guide to a future where harmony could be restored, not through the manipulation of time, but through the understanding and acceptance of sacrifice. In the aftermath of the ritual beneath the red moon, as Zara navigated the complexities of her diminished powers, and the sacrifice she had made. A flicker of hope ignited in the heart of her despair. 
It came in the form of an unexpected visitor, a traveler whose own journey through the corridors of time had left him lost, adrift in a sea of epochs and eras far from his own. This traveler, named Elian, emerged from the mists of time. His presence in Zaral's world, a mystery wrapped in the enigma of the universe's vast tapestry. With eyes that held the wisdom of ages and a demeanor marked by the solitude of his journey, Elian recognized in Zara a kindred spirit, someone who bore the weight of time's curse and blessing alike. Zara, wary yet intrigued, found herself drawn to Elian. His story a mirror to her own struggles, his existence a reminder that the flow of time touched all beings, weaving their stories together in unexpected ways. In Elian, <laughs> Zara saw not just a fellow traveler, but a beacon of understanding. Someone who could grasp the depth of her sacrifice and the pain of her loss. Together, in the shadow of the red moon's waning glow, they shared their tales, the paths that had led them to this convergence of fates. Elian spoke of worlds seen and unseen, of times long past and futures yet to unfold. His life a journey through the ages in search of a place to belong. In the sharing of their stories, Zara and Elian discovered a bond forged in the crucible of their experiences. A connection that transcended the boundaries of time and space. And it was within this bond that they found a glimmer of hope. A possibility that together they might find a way to mend the torn fabric of time. To heal the wounds inflicted by their journeys. Elian, with a perspective shaped by his travels, offered insights into the nature of time that Zara, for all her powers, had not considered. He spoke of time not as a linear path to be trodden or altered, but as a web, intricate and infinite, where each strand connected to another, where every action and every moment held the potential to influence the whole. Armed with this new understanding, Zara and Elian embarked on a quest, not to change the past, but to heal the present, to find a solution that could restore the balance disrupted by Zara's interventions. Their journey took them to the edges of the known world and beyond, into realms where time flowed like a river, wild and untamed. As they ventured forth, Zara felt the flicker of hope within her grow stronger, fueled by the bond she shared with Elian and the promise of redemption. Together, they faced challenges that tested their resolve, their courage and their faith in the possibility of a future where the fabric of time could be whole once more. Through ancient forests where the trees whispered secrets of the ages, across desolate landscapes where the sands of time blew unfettered by the winds of change, Zara and Elian sought the keys to their quest, guided by the stars and the silent music of the universe. In their darkest hour, when the path ahead seemed fraught with insurmountable obstacles, 
It was their unwavering belief in each other, in the strength of their bond, that lit the way forward. For in the heart of despair, they had found a flicker of hope, a spark that illuminated the darkness, revealing a path not to the past they had sought to change, but to a future they could shape together. In the realm where destiny and choice converge, Zara, with Elian by her side, embarked on a quest not just of healing but of redemption. The knowledge Elian shared woven from the fabric of countless ages and worlds, imbued Zara with a new understanding of time's intricate web. It was not a force to be wielded or bent to one's will, but a stream to be nurtured, its course respected even as it was guided. Their journey illuminated by the shared light of their newfound purpose, led them through the whispering forests of memory and across the shifting sands of forgotten times. Zara, with the lessons of her past etched deep in her heart, sought not to change what had been, but to heal the present to sow seeds of hope in the soil of time's garden. The quest was arduous, a test of both their resolve and their spirit. They encountered guardians of time, ancient beings who watched over the flow of the ages, their forms as ephemeral as the morning mist. From these encounters, Zara and Alien gleaned wisdom, each word a droplet of understanding in the vast ocean of time's mysteries. One such guardian, an entity older than the stars, bestowed upon them a gift, a crystal that pulsed with the light of possibility. This crystal, the Guardian intoned, holds the essence of second chances, the power to heal the rifts in time's fabric without undoing the lessons learned. Armed with this gift, Zara felt a renewal of hope, a confirmation that her path, though fraught with hardship, was true. The crystal warm to the touch, seemed to resonate with her own essence, a beacon guiding her towards the healing she sought to achieve. As they journeyed back towards Zara's village, the landscape around them began to reflect the changes wrought by their quest. Where once there had been discord, now there was a booding harmony, a sense of balance restored by their efforts. The streams murmured songs of rejuvenation and the trees swayed in a dance of renewal, their leaves whispering tales of resilience and growth. Upon their return, Zara and Elian were met with a world transformed. The village, once marred by the scars of time's manipulation, now thrived. Its people united by a newfound understanding of their place in the tapestry of existence. The air was filled with the laughter of children, and the fields once again bore the bounty of the earth a testament to the healing that had occurred. With the crystal's power, Zara mended the wounds of time, sealing the rifts with a gentle hand. 
Each repair was an act of love, a whisper of apology to the fabric of existence for the arrogance of believing she could control its flow. And with each healing touch, Zara felt a piece of her own spirit mend. The guilt and doubt that had shadowed her journey dissolving into the light of forgiveness. The ritual beneath the red moon, the journey with Elian, the encounters with the guardians of time, all had led to this moment. A second chance not only for Zara, but for her world. The lessons of her past, once sources of pain, now shone as beacons of wisdom, guiding her forward. As the sun set on the day of their return, painting the sky in hues of gold and crimson, Zara stood with Elian at the edge of the village, their gazes fixed on the horizon. Together, they had navigated the labyrinth of time, emerging not as conquerors, but as caretakers, guardians of a future they had reshaped with compassion and humility. In this moment of quiet victory, Zara understood the true nature of her gift. It was not a weapon or a tool, but a responsibility, a call to steward the moments of the present with care, so that the future might unfold in harmony with the past. Armed with this knowledge and a heart filled with gratitude for the second chance she had been given, Zara stepped into the future, ready to live each moment fully a weaver of time who had learned to dance with the threads of destiny. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the land, now healed by Zara's courage and wisdom, a solemn realization dawned upon her. The journey with Elian, filled with lessons of time's intricate web, had brought not only healing, but also a profound understanding of the limitations of her gift. In the quiet of the evening, as the first stars blinked into existence in the twilight sky, Zara stood at the edge of the village, her gaze lost in the distance. She had faced the guardians of time, mended the fabric of her world and learned the delicate dance of balance and sacrifice. Yet, in the stillness of her triumph, she confronted a truth as immutable as the stars themselves. There are things beyond the reach of time's grasp, losses that no power, no matter how great, can reclaim. The crystal, given by the ancient guardian, lay heavy in her hand, a symbol of the second chances she had fought so hard to secure. And yet, for all its magic, for all the healing it had wrought, it could not restore what had been willingly sacrificed. Zara's own essence, the part of her soul given in exchange for the village's renewal was a loss that echoed in the hollows of her heart, a reminder of the true cost of her gift. As the night deepened, Zara felt the weight of this realization press upon her, a burden that was hers alone to bear. Her powers, once a source of pride, now served as a lesson in humility, a testament to the price of wielding the forces of time. She understood 
with the clarity that cut to the core of her being, that the greatest strength lies not in altering the past or controlling the future, but in cherishing the present, in living each moment with intention and grace. The ultimate test of her will came not in the form of battles fought or powers wielded, but in accepting the limits of her gift, in acknowledging that some things once lost cannot be retrieved. This acceptance was her final challenge, a confrontation with the reality of her choices and the sacrifices they entailed. As she stood under the canopy of stars, Zara made her final decision, a choice born of the wisdom gained through her journey. She would no longer seek to change the tapestry of time, to undo the past or dictate the future. Instead, she would embrace the present, live each day with purpose, and honor the memory of what had been given in the quest for healing. The hourglass, once a constant companion in her quest for control over time, now lay silent, its sands still. Zara placed it at the base of the ancient tree that stood as a sentinel at the village's edge a symbol of her journey and the lessons learned. There, it would remain, a relic of the past, as Sara stepped forward into a future shaped by acceptance and the recognition of her own humanity. In the end, the true cost of her gift was not measured in the changes wrought upon the world, but in the depth of understanding it had brought her. The sacrifices made, the essence lost, were the price of her journey from a wielder of time to its steward, a guardian of moments yet to come. With the dawn of a new day, Zara faced the world not with a desire to control, but with a commitment to nurture, to protect and to love. She had learned the hardest lesson of all, that the power of time, vast though it may be, is dwarfed by the strength found in the human heart, in the capacity for growth, change and acceptance. And so Zara's story, a tale woven through the ages, stands as a beacon to those who would seek to master time. A reminder that the greatest power lies in living fully, deeply, and with reverence for the moment at hand. Chapter 3 The Balance of Time In the calm that followed the storm of revelations and sacrifices, Zara stood before the ancient tree under which the hourglass of eons lay silent, its sands a testament to the journey she had traversed. The stars, witnesses to her resolve, cast their gentle light upon her, a silent chorus to the decision that weighed heavy on her soul. With the dawn painting the sky in hues of promise, Zara reached a decision born from the depths of wisdom and the scars of her journey. The hourglass, for all its beauty and power, represented a temptation that tugged at the very fabric of existence, a siren's call to those who would seek to master the forces of time. It is not ours to wield, she whispered to the wind, her voice steady yet laden with the weight of her choice. 
To hold such power is to hold a flame to the tapestry of life, risking the beauty of its weave for the allure of control. And so, with a heart fortified by the trials she had endured and the lessons she had learned, Zara decided to destroy the hourglass of aeons. It was a daring move, a final act of guardianship over the balance she had fought so hard to restore. In her hands, the hourglass seemed to pulse, as if aware of its impending fate, the sands within stirring in a silent protest. With the breath that held the essence of her resolve, Zara raised the hourglass high, the morning light refracting through its form in a prism of fleeting beauty. Then, with a motion that echoed the finality of her decision, she brought it down upon the ancient stones that lay at the tree's roots. The impact was a symphony of destruction, the hourglass shattering into a thousand shards of light, its destruction unleashing a torrent of raw temporal energy that surged through the land like a tidal wave. The air crackled with power, the very atmosphere alive with the unbridled essence of time itself. The village, still asleep in the early dawn, remained untouched, a bubble of calm in the storm of energy that raged around it. The force of the hourglass's destruction carved a scar upon the land, a reminder of the cost of meddling with the forces of time. In the aftermath, as the energy dissipated into the ether, Zara stood alone, the broken remains of the hourglass at her feet. The decision to destroy it to rid the world of the temptation it represented was a sacrifice of its own, a renunciation of the power she had once sought to master. The broken hourglass, with its scattered sands now blending with the soil, symbolized the end of an era, the closing of a chapter in the story of time. Zara, her eyes reflecting the first light of dawn, knew that the journey ahead would be one of healing, not just for the land, but for her own soul. As the village awoke to the new day, unaware of the momentous events that had transpired at its edge, Zara walked among her people, her steps light, her heart open. The destruction of the hourglass was not an end, but a beginning. The first step in a journey towards a future where the balance of time was maintained not by power, but by wisdom and respect. The broken hourglass lay behind her, a testament to her resolve. Azara embraced her role as a guardian of the present, a steward of moments yet to come. In her heart, she carried the lessons of the past, the knowledge that true strength lies in the courage to let go, to trust in the flow of time and the beauty of its natural course. In the wake of the hourglass's destruction, a profound tranquility settled over Zara, akin to the first light of dawn that caresses the earth with gentle fingers. The world around her, once a blur of moments to be controlled and changed, now stood in sharp relief, 
each detail a testament to the beauty of the present, the impermanence of now. Zara, with the wisdom of her journey etched deep within her soul, began to see the world through new eyes. The village, her home, unfolded before her in a tapestry of life, vibrant and pulsing with the rhythms of daily existence. The laughter of children playing in the fields, the murmur of the stream as it danced over rocks, the whisper of the wind through the leaves, all these became threads in the tapestry she now wove. A celebration of the present moment. Gone was the desire to alter the weft and warp of time, to pull at threads in the hope of reshaping the pattern. Instead, Zara embraced the natural flow of time, the inevitable progression of moments that together composed the melody of life. She walked among her people, not as a guardian of what was to come, but as a steward of what was, her every action, a reflection of her newfound respect for the balance of time. In this acceptance, Zara discovered a freedom she had never known. The liberation that comes from living fully in the present, from appreciating the beauty and the pain, the joy and the sorrow, without the desire to change or control. Chapter 3 The Balance of Time in the calm that followed the storm of revelations and sacrifices, Zara stood before the ancient tree under which the hourglass of eons lay silent. It sands a testament to the journey she had traversed. The stars, witnesses to her resolve, cast their gentle light upon her a silent chorus to the decision that weighed heavy on her soul. With the dawn painting the sky in hues of promise, Zara reached a decision born from the depths of wisdom and the scars of her journey. The hourglass, for all its beauty and power, represented a temptation that tugged at the very fabric of existence, a siren's call to those who would seek to master the forces of time. It is not ours to wield, she whispered to the wind, her voice steady yet laden with the weight of her choice. To hold such power is to hold a flame to the tapestry of life, risking the beauty of its weave for the allure of control. And so, with the heart fortified by the trials she had endured and the lessons she had learned, Zara decided to destroy the hourglass of aeons. It was a daring move, a final act of guardianship over the balance she had fought so hard to restore. In her hands, the hourglass seemed to pulse, as if aware of its impending fate, the sands within stirring in a silent protest. With the breath that held the essence of her resolve, Zara raised the hourglass high, the morning light refracting through its form in a prism of fleeting beauty. Then, with a motion that echoed the finality of her decision, she brought it down upon the ancient stones that lay at the tree's roots. The impact 
night was a symphony of destruction. The hourglass shattering into a thousand shards of light. Its destruction unleashing a torrent of raw temporal energy that surged through the land like a tidal wave. The air crackled with power. The very atmosphere alive with the unbridled essence of time itself. The village, still asleep in the early dawn, remained untouched, a bubble of calm in the storm of energy that raged around it. The force of the hourglass's destruction carved a scar upon the land, a reminder of the cost of meddling with the forces of time. In the aftermath, as the energy dissipated into the ether, Zara stood alone, the broken remains of the hourglass at her feet. The decision to destroy it, to rid the world of the temptation it represented, was a sacrifice of its own, a renunciation of the power she had once sought to master. She learned to weave the threads of the now with a gentle hand, adding her own strand to the tapestry of the village, a thread of hope and renewal. The villagers, sensing the change in Zara, began to look to her not with awe or fear, but with respect and understanding. They saw in her actions a reflection of their own lives, a mirror that showed them the beauty of the present, the importance of each moment lived with intention and grace. As the seasons turned, Zara's tapestry grew, a living record of the village and its people, a testament to the power of the present. Each thread, each strand, told a story of life in its myriad forms, of the cycles of nature, of birth and growth, of aging and passing, of the eternal dance of existence. Zara found joy in the simple things, in the daily rituals that marked the passage of time in the conversations and connections that wove the fabric of community. She celebrated the festivals with her people, reveling in the traditions that anchored them to the cycle of the year, to the land that sustained them. In this way, Zara became a weaver of time, not through the manipulation of its flow, but through her deep appreciation for the moments that made up her life. The hourglass, once the symbol of her power, was replaced by the tapestry she created, a vibrant, ever-changing work of art that celebrated the now. The broken hourglass, its sand scattered, had taught her the most valuable lesson of all, that the true essence of time lies not in its control, but in its experience, in the beauty of living each moment to its fullest, in the acceptance of the impermanence that gives life its meaning. And so Zara's journey which had begun with a desire to master time, culminated in the understanding that the most profound mastery lies in surrender, in the embrace of the present, in the celebration of the woven threads of now, in the heart of a world reborn from the ashes of the hourglass, where each moment was cherished like a precious jewel, a shadow loomed dark and ominous. The destruction of the hourglass, a beacon of Zara's resolve, 
had set free not just the raw energy of time, but had also awakened forces that lay dormant, biding their time in the dark recesses of the universe. These forces, ancient and malevolent, saw in the hourglass's destruction an opportunity, a breach in the fabric of existence through which they could exert their will, threatening to unravel not just the tapestry Zara had come to cherish, but the very essence of her world. As the signs of this encroaching darkness became apparent, with time itself beginning to fracture and warp, Zara stood at the precipice of despair, her heart heavy with the burden of her choice. The world around her, once vibrant with the beauty of the present, now quivered on the brink of chaos, its future uncertain. It was Elian, the time-lost traveller who had become her companion and confidant, who first perceived the depth of the threat. The hourglass was a lock of sorts, he explained, his voice tinged with urgency. Its destruction has opened a door through which these forces seek to enter to claim dominion over time itself. Zara, with the wisdom forged in the crucible of her journey, knew that to confront this threat, to safeguard the balance she had fought so hard to restore, she would need to gather all her strength and wisdom. It was not a battle to be fought with magic alone, but with the power of unity, of a community bound by the shared desire to protect their home. She called upon her people, rallying them with words that spoke of courage and hope, of the strength found in standing together. We face a foe that seeks to steal from us the very essence of our existence, she declared, her voice resonant with the conviction of her words. But together, we hold the power to preserve our world, to keep the darkness at bay. Zara led them in a last stand against time, not as a weaver seeking to control its flow, but as a guardian fighting to preserve the natural balance. The villagers, inspired by her leadership, joined their wills to hers, their collective resolve a beacon of light in the encroaching darkness. The battle was fierce, a maelstrom of energy and will as Zara and her people confronted the forces that sought to claim their world. Time itself seemed to hold its breath, the outcome hanging in the balance as the very air crackled with the power unleashed. In the heart of the storm, Zara found a strength she had not known she possessed a clarity of purpose that transcended the fear and doubt. With Elian at her side and her people behind her, she channeled the essence of the present, the power of now, into a force that could stand against the darkness. And then, in a moment of transcendent unity, the people of the village, led by Zara, pushed back against the tide of chaos, sealing the breach that the destruction of the hourglass had opened. The forces that sought to enter were repelled, banished back to the shadows from whence they came, 
their threat to the world averted by the courage and unity of those who called it home. As calm returned and the fractures in time began to heal, Sara stood among her people, their victory a testament to the power of collective will, to the strength found in the embrace of the present. The last stand against time was not just a battle for their world, but a declaration of their determination to live in harmony with the forces that shaped their existence. The threat had been vanquished, but the lesson remained, etched in the heart of every villager, that the balance of time, the harmony of existence, was a precious thing to be guarded with vigilance and celebrated with joy. As the first light of dawn crept over the horizon, bathing the world in a soft golden glow, a profound sense of peace settled over the land. The battle against the forces that sought to unravel the very fabric of existence had been won, not through the might of arms, but through the strength of unity and the power of belief in the sanctity of the present. Zara, standing amidst the people she had led through the darkness, felt a change within her, a transformation that went beyond the mere restoration of balance. The trials she had faced, the sacrifices made, had forged her into a guardian, not just of her people, but of the very essence of time itself. She emerged from the ordeal wiser, her powers tempered by the understanding of their true purpose. With the break of the new dawn, Zara addressed her people, her voice carrying across the village square, imbued with the weight of their shared journey. We have stood together against the tide that sought to sweep us away, she began, her gaze passing over the faces of those who had stood with her. And in our unity, we have found our strength. The flow of time, with all its mysteries and wonders, is a sacred river in which we swim. It is not ours to dam or divert, but to navigate with respect and awe. Her words, simple yet profound, echoed in the hearts of those who heard them a vow to honour the lessons learned in the shadow of adversity. Zara pledged herself to the protection of the flow of time, to ensuring that the events of life were allowed to unfold as they should, free from the manipulations of those who would seek to control destiny. In the tapestry of existence, Every moment, every thread is vital, Zara continued, her eyes alight with the depth of her conviction. Each joy and sorrow, every triumph and defeat is a part of the whole that defines us. To cherish these moments, to let them unfold in their natural course is to truly live. The villagers, moved by her words, pledged their support, their commitment to embrace the present, to live each day with intention and grace. The spirit of the community, once tested by the threat of unravelling, now shone with a renewed vigour. A collective resolve to face the future with open hearts and minds. As the sun rose higher, 
casting its light upon a world reborn. Zara stood at the heart of the village, a figure of hope and resilience. She had faced the darkness, had stood on the brink of oblivion, and had emerged not only victorious, but transformed. The wisdom she had gained, the power she wielded, was no longer a force to bend time to her will, but a beacon to guide her in the stewardship of its flow. The new dawn that broke over the village that day was a symbol of this transformation, a promise of a future built on the foundations of understanding and respect for the natural order of the universe. Zara, with Elian by her side and her people at her back, looked forward to this future, to the unfolding of days and years in a world where time was not a resource to be exploited, but a gift to be cherished. And in this new light, under the gaze of the rising sun, the village began its day, its people emboldened by the knowledge that they had a guardian who would protect the sanctity of time, who understood its value and the importance of letting life's events weave their own story. As the new dawn heralded a future filled with hope and understanding, Sarah stood before her people. The trials they had endured together, a testament to their strength and unity. But beyond the immediate victory, beyond the restoration of peace and balance, lay a broader vision, a promise that would shape the destiny of those who came after. With the wisdom of her journey etched into her soul, Zara knew that her role as a guardian of time extended beyond the boundaries of her village, beyond the here and now. There would be others in times and places yet to unfold who would discover within themselves the same power that had once threatened to consume her. It was to these souls, touched by the gift and the curse of controlling time, that Zara pledged her guidance. I have walked the path of temptation, have seen the shadows that power can cast. She addressed the gathering her voice imbued with a gentle authority. But I have also seen the light that comes from understanding, from accepting the sacred flow of time. It is this light I wish to pass on, to guide those who find themselves lost in the darkness of their gifts. Her promise was a beacon a vow to ensure that the future remained a realm of endless possibilities, untainted by the desire to control, to dominate the natural course of events. Sara dedicated herself to mentoring the gifted, to teaching them the lessons of balance and respect, of the beauty inherent in the passage of moments, each precious and unique. And so, to those who come after, to those who feel the stirrings of power within, know this, Zara continued, her gaze sweeping over her people, a reflection of her own resolve. You are not alone. There is a way to walk in harmony with time, to embrace your gifts without falling prey to the illusions of control. I promise to be your guide, to share the wisdom of my journey, 
that you may find your own path in the eternal cycle of beginnings and endings. The villagers, moved by her words, saw in Zara not just their protector, but a beacon of hope for the future. A guardian who would ensure that the lessons learned from the past would light the way for generations to come. They understood that her promise was not just to them, but to all who would one day walk the delicate line between power and responsibility. As the gathering dispersed, returning to the rhythms of daily life, Sara stood alone, her gaze fixed on the horizon, where the first stars of evening began to twinkle in the deepening twilight. She felt a profound connection to the world around her, to the cycle of life that moved inexorably forward, each moment a thread in the vast tapestry of existence. In the quiet of the twilight, Zara made her way to the ancient tree where the remnants of the hourglass lay scattered, a symbol of her journey. She knelt, placing her hands upon the earth, feeling the pulse of life that flowed beneath. And in that moment, she made her silent vow a pledge that echoed in the heart of the world. The young witch who could control time had learned the most valuable lesson of all, to let go, to embrace her place in the eternal cycle of beginnings and endings. Her story, a tale of power, sacrifice and wisdom, would be a guiding light for all who followed, a reminder of the beauty of the present and the sacredness of time's flow. And thus, the tale concludes, not with an end, but with the promise of new beginnings, of stories yet to be told, of lives touched by the gentle hand of time guided by the wisdom of Zara's promise.